Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 7th of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever I'm going to give you the broad themes to expect but please stay with me because I then will dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac sign forecasts, the key influences for each of those signs and the dates. Now this week begins with Venus and Mars having relocated into the sign of Aquarius. Now waiting for them is Mercury and Saturn. Mercury stays with Venus and Mars through to Thursday before itself ingressing into the sign of Pisces. So we've still got a lot of Pisces energy going on. Also the Sun in Pisces is aligning with Jupiter in the first half of this week which is very uplifting energy. The second half of this week it goes alongside Neptune. Now that could see us wanting to conserve our energies a little bit but also indulge anything to do with film or uh, photography, uh, escapism in a creative way. The quarter moon on Thursday however is in Gemini and because Neptune's in the mix this 12th third house access can create the conditions for gossip or for distorted messages so we can use the clarity of Venus and Mars in the more logical sign of Aquarius to push back on that a little bit, to work on uh, networking with others, to perhaps reach out and, and re-engage with people in a way which has been much more difficult to do over the last couple of years because of uh, the Covid restrictions and all of the reality of that particular outbreak. Venus and Mars can be quite non-judgmental in the sign of Aquarius. It's very much about community. So linking with others, but being more mindful also of the more psychological dimension of all of our situations is what I feel are the key issues of this week. If you are new to my channel, I would be honored if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. If you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, I've written these for years, please see the link below which you can uh, subscribe through. Also, if you'd like to take advantage of my special combination of a, a natal character analysis and a 12-month forecast, which will see you learn so much more about what makes you tick individually beyond your zodiac sign, please see the link below for a 30% discount. Hello Cancer and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 7th of March. As last week came to a close, you may recall that Venus and Mars moved into the sign of Aquarius. Mercury and Saturn lay in wait, so this 8th house energy is brilliant for grappling with long-term financial planning. Anything to do with pensions, savings, investments, uh, or mortgages, or probate, or um, claims, can all come very sharply into focus in the next few weeks. In a more romantic sense, of course, Venus and Mars have gone through a very, very long transit in your seventh house. And think back to the first week of November. Has there been a shift in how you view certain relationships or certain people in your situation? If there has been quite a lot of dialogue, I think Venus moving into the eighth house now is giving you the opportunity to really understand more deeply where someone else is coming from. If you are attracted to someone and you have started to see them, this could be the point when it gets more serious or you really start to make a, a binding decision on whether this is one to invest more uh, energy and more uh, commitment in and devotion or it's one to let go of. Now on Thursday, we do have a quarter moon and it's a quarter moon in quite a tender location for you, the 12th house. And Mercury moves on the same day into the sign of Pisces. Now, interestingly, in the first half of this week, the sun's in a glorious link with Jupiter still, which can really give you the desire to widen your horizons and travel plans can take shape. In the second half of the week, Neptune's aligned with the sun and the more spiritual side of your nature can really need to find an outlet. But once Mercury moves into that position and the sun squares with the moon, it could create a heightened sense of all your reality. So 
all sorts of emotions can be amplified. Just be prepared for that. It might actually be in a really pleasant and uplifting way. But if you're very sensitive to what's going on in the world, for example, international affairs, um, then I think that type of information can be a little bit draining. So that more tender side of your nature could be to the fore in the second half of this week. But if you are planning any excursions or travel, just be conscious of, of what the deeper reasons for this are. If you really understand that, I feel, for example, if you're going off to a retreat or you're going somewhere where it's very peaceful, where you can really recharge your batteries, I think that can be very beneficial indeed with this set of influences. But in a more relating sense, the discussion and the thinking that you've done with yourself in terms of how you interact with people, that takes on uh, a much more scorpionic energy with uh, the movements of Venus and Mars into your eighth house.